Okay guys, so we have an engine light on this car and we uh, went and had it tested and it's to do with the emissions and we think it's, uh, well from what they said in the test, it's plausibly this uh, EGR valve right here. So <clears throat> we're going to take this off, we're going to clean it, stick it back on and then reset the, uh, the light and see if it comes back. To take this off, you remove these right here. There's two uh, bolts right here. There is a large nut that uh, I removed with a crescent wrench. And this plug back here. And then it comes off. And then um, you can clean it with things like uh, carb cleaner. Um, all I had was degreaser, so I just tried that. Cleaned it out really good. It worked and stuck it back on. So when you're uh, looking at your EGR valve, you have Two vacuum hoses right here you want to pull out. You have uh, this electric connection right here. Just push down and pull off. And then you have this vacuum hose which is connected to itself. So you don't have to worry about that unless it's in the way. We're going to go ahead and remove this side because to get to this bolt right here, it's going to uh, require us to move things out of the way. So got the vacuum hoses, the electric, and then the, move this vacuum hose right here. Then we want to start by taking off this big pipe right here. I've already pre-broke it off. I'm using a crescent wrench. If you have a wrench that will fit this, go ahead and use that. I didn't have one. So I have one bigger and one smaller. But not this size. Once you pull that loose, it just slides off right there. So this piece right here just slides back. And then to take off these other bolts, you just uh, 10 millimeter and you slide it on right here. And it's tight enough. I smell glass gasket. And it's off. Okay, so we took the EGR valve off, and this is a Lincoln LS 2004 model, if you're not aware. And um, they say you can uh, clean this up with like carb creek cleaner and then some scraping. So I'm going to give that a shot because unlike the old uh, EGR valves, this thing's 130 bucks, and uh, I remember, you know, you can get these for the older cars for like 20 or 30 dollars. So it's got these nice electronics on it. I guess that makes it a lot more expensive. Okay, guys. So I cleaned the valve up, and I'm going to I carefully broke loose any carbon that was built on, it, and I'm going to stick it back on and see if that fixes it. That would be awesome if it does. Don't forget your little gas.
That's why I don't like crescent wrenches. They're bolt destroyers. Then put all your piping and plumbing and wires back in place. And go try it out. This is much too easy of an item to clean and stick back on before you replace it because it's just right here. It's two bolts and this stupid pipe. And, uh, you know, it's a, or else you're out $130. So, okay, so did all the tests. Had this thing running for about 30 minutes after we reset the, uh, the computer in the car. To reset the computer, we just uh, unplugged the battery for 10 minutes and then plugged it back in. I unplugged the ground. That way when I'm turning the wrench, I don't make sparks. And uh, ran it for 30 minutes, no problem. So, cleaning this up worked really well and uh, everything is right as rain. All we have to do is do some little touch-ups, and we're going to get this car on the market. You tell them, Bella. So, if you like the... <laughs> it is a good car. It looks good, too. Got nothing wrong with it. <laughs> looks real good. So... <sighs> yes, and uh, I've been using this as a flashlight for a while. And I've never, I haven't charged it yet. It just charges by sunlight. It's really good. I'll leave a link down below for this. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking for great eats, good food, check out DianeWithDanielle.com. Awesome recipes. And it, Every week. Every week. With uh, one of our family favorites. It's that a we've been doing for years, so. It's a daunting task to deliver these because we also do a video with them as well now. So, and if you're looking for things that I write, I also try to write so you can see how bad I write, but I'm there too. No, he's, he's good at writer. He's good. And uh, He's funny too. Semi-funny. I try to be funny. And if you like this channel, subscribe. I think you do it down there. And you can also click that little bell too so you get oh, yeah. reminders and stuff. Ding, ding. <laughs> And if uh, this was helpful to you, uh, give us feedback, you know, or if we could have uh, offered some more or you need some uh, other input on it, leave that down there too. If you uh, like this video and it was informative, hit that like button. It's also down there. It looks like this. And y'all please take care. <laughs>